to explain it, but that's just my my secrets. Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? What a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Good morning. The time now is 9.48. Washing machine is running. As you guys might hear in the background, but another day where we are working hard. Start of the week. So I'm really looking forward to this week because it's going to be hard. It's going to be a good week full of inspiration motivation because 2021 is going to be our year how do i know because i work for it and that's what you need to do as well you need to work hard so today on the menu is going to be i'm going to to the pitch and by the way the pitch where i'm going if one of you guys live next to the pitch because i would love to just have a training partner because always to train by myself you can't train on on certain things like for example receiving a pass from someone because when you do always those wall passes i mean a real person a wall can't replace a real person so i would really love that to actually train with one of you but if you guys live i'm not going to say where the area is people who know this pitch and who live next to it just tell me just write me a dm on my instagram at brandau4 but you have to be good as well because it's useless to train with someone that is not really good but anyway on the pitch we're gonna do four drills simple quick because yesterday was very intense with stamina so today i'm gonna focus more on like center back specific drills which is going to be lateral movements i'm gonna show you guys passes and yeah let's do it let's do it starting today's workout i used my elastic bands but i would recommend you guys before using elastic bands try to go on a jog for five minutes because i always jog from my house to the pitch which takes me about 10 minutes of time and elastic bands is a great way to warm up your body and for me it's really really helpful because it strengthens your muscles at the same time as well so if you don't have elastic bands make sure you get one of these For the first drill, I used a tennis ball and it works on your reaction, your speed and you have to concentrate as well because you have to catch the ball and usually you need another person that throws you the ball so that you don't know when it bounces but because you are by yourself and I was by myself, I just tried to bounce it on the floor and then catch it so it was really fun and a good way to warm up my body as well. next drill you set two cones a bit away from the six yard line and the other one on the 18 yards line so you bubble to the first cone and then you sprint to the second cone back and bubble back to the touch line and this really helps especially when you are i think in any kind of position it really helps because football is a lot of stop sprint start and like you need to be able to have a good acceleration and today i really try to improve my acceleration so this is a great way to do that as a defender you need to be able to defend well and there are loads of 1v1s 2v2s 2v1s and this show really helps you to just bend your knees get in that low position body position drop back 
and then turn around and sprint. Once the striker or attacker makes a move, you need to be able to react to it. And in this drill, I try to really work on that. And the question is, how low should you go? And I recently watched a video of how to just be faster and have a quicker acceleration by Unisport. Of speed and acceleration. So Carsten, acceleration, how are we going to do this? Uh, today actually what I'm going to show you is a little bit of theory, mm -hmm. but why is it so important? Why do we need this so much in, in football? Uh, then uh, have a look at you. Let's go with the sprint, four or five meters, because on the pitch there's no ladder. This is also why I don't want you to be as fast as possible in the ladder, but as fast as possible outside the ladder when you start sprinting. Then you, go. you saw that I was in a very high position. So what I don't want you to do, to go like this, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> because here, you're not really stretching your leg, and that is what you would need in the sprint, okay? So what I want you to do that you're always coming into this stretch position, so therefore you remain in a high position, and then you go into the sprint. So by looking at this video here, you can see I'm very, very low, and I realized myself that when I'm that low, my turn like i can't be as fast as i want to but if i'm a bit higher i am able to sprint and turn faster In this drill, I really try to improve on my passing because especially as a center back or midfielder, it is so important to be able to pass the ball really good and very accurate. So obviously, as more as you do it, as more tired you get and as more tired you get, it's so important that you concentrate more because when you're tired, that's when you start to improve and see that hard work pays off. So let me show you guys the shoppings that I did. Obviously my lovely Quaker Oats protein golden syrup, Alpro protein milk, avocado, prawns, Cumberland sausages, vegetarian, 
I love persimmon or khakis, peanut butter but with proteins, protein noodles, pepper, cinnamon, I love cinnamon, uh, yeah, avocado, and also, and I bought also seafood sticks. The time now is seven o'clock, so it's time for Chef Brandao to cook something. And today on the menu is going to be lentils with simply black beans, tomatoes, and lentils and coconut milk. I'm gonna do the, the full recipe in the description. But I'm gonna add these ones, protein noodles. Only 22 calories per serving. So good from Tesco's. Because at the moment I really try to count my calories. I weigh 99.5 kilogram. And my dream is like 94. I can't remember when I was the last time 94 kilograms. Because I think with 94 kilograms, I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be like a beast. So I really try to lose those six kilograms. So I really try to count my calories and just try to eat enough proteins and vegetables and all this stuff. So we're gonna add some prawns. It's so good. And, et voila with whole wheat bread and that's for tomorrow so i'm sorted mm. recipe is going to be in the description delicious delicious seriously so if you guys want to do the same just head to my description and you're going to see the full recipe but it's been another great day because we worked hard we had good food and the time actually is just like quarter to 10 because i put the clock one hour up i don't know it might be strange but i always put my clock one hour up so that i know that I don't know how to explain it. I mean, if you put the clock an hour up, that's like one of my secrets. And then you think like, oh, it's already 11 o'clock, but then you get reminded that it's just 10 o'clock, but you think it's 11 and then like, and then it will make you like do things. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just my, my secret. That's how I get things done because um, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, it's been a good day. So I hope you guys are training and trying to do something. Don't let any news of a new lockdown, tier 4, tier 5, tier 78. Guys, this year, it needs to be a good year. It needs to be a year where you don't let Corona control your life, that you control corona by just being positive and optimistic and just doing your thing but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button guys and keep in mind when you believe every thing is possible so team randall i'll see you tomorrow Oh, my God.